Hey guys, how's it going? This is a time lapse drawing of Adele and how I broke her down for a drawing. She has such a powerful voice and I've been listening to her a lot recently so I wanted to do a portrait of her. So I started by drawing her features fairly light, just enough where I know where things are. I start to shade in her face, trying to evaluate just how dark I want to go because I know her face is light, but not as light as the paper. Her right side would be a shade lighter, but I'm still going to add some value on that side. I could have left a lot of that side alone and just used the paper to work as the spotlight, but I wanted to show a little more dimension on the right edge of her face. Once I have the foundation of her face, I start to create her facial features. I try to blend in her lips in a way where it doesn't pop out drastically, but enough where there's some form because she has full lips. Now, drawing in her eyes were pretty interesting because I was trying to figure out just how much eye makeup to apply. Drawing in that eye helped me evaluate that side of her face. Uh, you saw I went just a little darker on that side and I started to work on the neck. And I kept the value somewhat consistent. Her neck would be a little darker though because her chin is casting a shadow. I go back to her face, working around her nose just to be more specific. Uh, once that's done, I then cross over to work on her left eye, trying to draw in her lashes and incorporate that into the makeup she has on her eyelids. Really just trying to blend everything together so that it looks right. So once her eyes were set, I go back to finish working the details of the bottom features of her face, making them darker as well so that it will pick up on the viewfinder. So at this time, I felt like I need to work on her hair. I drew in her hairline and start to work on her left side. And I started with the side that goes under because I was breaking up her hair visually and felt like this would give me an idea of the flow of her hair. Once I have the middle blocked in, I work my way upward, creating her highlights, just varying the different sections. And once that's done, I work on the bottom third. I'm using the edges of the middle section to help me see the flow and I'm again trying to separate the different sections. I go further in pushing the contrast with my Prismacolor pencils and rework certain areas before moving on to the other side. The trick on this side was that parts of her hair were a lot lighter so it was interesting to create these streaks and have them blend towards the back. I again used the midsection to evaluate the flow of her hair towards the bottom. I ended up connecting the two sides and they should have a similar look more or less. The portrait is then finished off by drawing in her sweater. I didn't want to go too crazy with the texture because I just wanted to finish the drawing. So that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching and I'll be uploading another one soon. So until then, take care.